So just let's have a look at some at a very typical type of question where you have to use exponential um, equations and take logs. So suppose you had some kind of circuit here uh, for a capacitor discharging. Well, a typical question might say, you know, in some context or other, in the circuit shown, how long will it take for the charged capacitor to discharge to 70% of its original charge, for example? Now, um, so the first thing to do is write down the exponential equation that we're going to work with. Well, in this case, they're talking about charge, how long will it take for the charge to go down. But of course, this could be potential difference or current, and it really doesn't matter. You just choose the equation. So if it was potential difference, I would choose V equals V naught E to the minus T over RC. Or if it was current, I equals I naught E to the minus T over RC. And we know we can find RC, because RC is the time constant, of course, and which we can use in our equation. So, well, that is going to be 2.5 times 10 to the 5 ohms, because it's 0.25 mega ohms, multiplied by 200 microfarads, so that's 10 to the minus 200 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And if we evaluate that, it's 50 seconds. So we've got RC. Well, the trick to these is to rearrange the equation so that you've got Q over Q0 equals E to the minus T over RC. And that's because Q over Q0, Q is the charge, um, is 70% of the original charge. So we know that Q over Q0 is going to be 0 0.7. So then we can just write down 0 0.7 equals e to the minus t over rc. And of course we know rc, so we can put in 50 there for that. And the next thing is to take logs, take natural logs. So then we say, well, the log of 0 0.7 is equal to the natural log of e to the minus t over 50. And hopefully now you're feeling okay, if you weren't already, about natural logs. The natural log of something is what you have to raise e to to get that thing. So we can see here that it's the natural log of e to the minus t over 50 is just going to be minus t over 50. So we get the natural log of 0 0.7 equals minus t over 50. And so we can rearrange and we can say, well, t therefore is going to be minus 50 times the natural log of 0 0.7. And if we evaluate that, we get 17.8 seconds. So hopefully that makes sense. A lot, these crop up all the time in some way, shape or form, where you just have to do a bit of manipulation like that. So um, remember the trick.